Hello viewers, this is Herald Linea. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest IX, Sentinels of the Starry Skies. We are currently exploring the world on the ship, the Pride of Bloomingdale. We're here at the Kalag Coast, on the northern part of the northeast continent. So let's sail east a bit. Here we have a couple of handsome crabs. Though they don't look too handsome with that goop sticking out of their mouths. Bye-bye, crabs. Angelo reaches level 26. And he gets five skill points. And we've got a treasure chest with a Reserock. Let's keep sailing. Ah, oh, this area looks pretty cold. And there is some thinking sense here. We've got a soothe slime with a couple more handsome crabs. So long, enemies. And the Sooth Slime drops a medicinal herb. What a valuable and rare treasure! So, I'm just going to take the ship down to the eastern part of the coast. We'll explore this area. And we can find some magic waters around here. Free magic waters, how nice! A white trigger tower. So long, White Trigger Tar. And here we have a Great Gruffin.
So long, Great Gruffin. And here we have a Burthen Warrior. So long, Burthen Warrior. Jessica reaches level twenty six. and earns five skill points. Now let's get back on the Pride of Bloomingdale. So, let's continue sailing. A Cumulus Rex and two Sail Serpents. Gigo Slash! So long, Sail Serpents. Goodbye, Cumulus Rex. So, let's move on. I'm actually making for the southwestern continent now. Just like that, we went right to the other side of the world. So long, Sail Serpent. If you'll see, there's a little bay in the northwest of the southwestern continent. That's where I'll head after we've defeated these enemies. Yep, let's cream the serpents with Giga Slash again.
that takes care of the serpents. to get Voice of Experience off, since that will boost our experience for the battle. We can now earn 1.3 times as much experience in this battle. So long, Cumulus Rex. Anyway, let's make landfall here. This region is the Worm Neck. And right here on the coast, we can find some mirror stone. Now we'll head southwest and climb the slopes. Hello, Cumulus Rex. not too bad. So long, Cumulus Rex. Go rain on someone else's party. Rex and two Hell Ninos. Let's give them a bang. takes care of the Cumulus Rex. Now for these Hell Ninos. So long, cloudy enemies. Climb up this slope. Another Cumulus Rex and a Cyclops. Go 
Here we go, Slash. Goodbye, Cumulus Rex. Deborah, you were supposed to wait. See what you get for not waiting? So long, Cyclops. Hey, our outreach is level 27. And he earns 5 skill points. And up here, there is a hot spring. And we can farm for a think incense here. Some nice little treasures tucked away. Top off our magic again. Then we'll head back toward the ship. And what have we here? A green dragon. Fortunately, it won't prove to be the problem that the Green Dragon and Dragon Quest was. The original Dragon Quest. So long, Green Dragon. Debra reaches level 26. She earns 5 skill points. Nice going, Golden Armamentalist. Hello, Troll. Have a taste of Giga Slash. Goodbye, troll. And the troll dropped an oaken club. Now there's a worthless treasure. Hello, Golem.
Too bad it's not a gold golem. Fortunately, we'll soon find some gold golems. They're on... just desert. And the golem dropped a treasure. A flint stone. After we've crushed him to rubble, he gives us a flint stone. Now we're back on the ship. We'll sail around. Ooh, a seesaw. Those seesaws can be murderous. First, I'll clear out these terror hawks. Just the seesaws are powerful. Goodbye, enemies. bad they couldn't give us enemies roaming the sea, like in Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. But on the other hand, here you can't have sea monsters sneak up on you when you're in the menu screens. Goodbye, handsome crabs. And goodbye, great gruffins. to this eastern area. This is eastern wormwood. We can farm for crimson coral at these spots. And that's about all I'll do there. Eastern wormwood is a storyline area, so I want to save that for the appropriate time. What's this little island here? There are reefs all around it, so we can't land there. We've got a couple of cell marauders. Bad luck, kiddos. here at Eastern Stornway and farm for seashells on the seashore.
No, we'll zoom to Stornway. As you can see, when we zoom to Stornway, our ship appears in the river to the north. Hello, Winkster and Fungool. No problem at all. Too bad that paltry experience won't help us. Anyway... We'll board our ship. We'll go north to this island in the middle of Loch Storn. There's a lone building here. And here are Genie Sanguinis. to find genie sanguinis in a future quest. They're on this little island. Let's check out this little building. Oh, no mini metal. Moo! Moo! Once I got lucky and found a mini metal here. But not on this occasion, apparently. And here we have some Dithons. So long, Dithons. Anyway, we'll get back on our ship. We've got two shock to pie and a spinchilla. of spikes. Isn't that supposed to hurt? Goodbye, enemies. We can't go under this bridge, can we? Interesting. Actually, I'll sail up this way. That was Zir to our south. And we'll disembark here in Doomingale Forest. I'll head up to the northwest ruin and check for a mini metal. Make good use of safe passage. Aha! Uh -huh. There is a mini metal here. 
Very nice. We have four in the bag. And we've already given Max Medlin 13. So that gives us a total of 17. We'll zip off to Dower Bridge. The sleepy town of Ne'er Do Wells. And we'll make a delivery to Medlin. Hello, Medlin. I have brought you some mini medals. So we've brought him 17 altogether. Just one more to go, and he'll give us a Jolly Roger jumper. Now let's zoom off to Porthlafen. That will make a good enough jumping off point to go to the next storyline destination. Very convenient to the coast, as you can imagine. So, we'll stay here at the inn. Thank you, Innkeeper. And in the next episode, we'll head to the next storyline destination. This is Herot Linio. I would like to thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time.